What is good, YouTube? I'm back with another video, back with another banger. As you've seen by the title in the thumbnail, I'm going to be explaining the difference between a 392 Scat Pack and a Dodge Charger RT. So let's get into the video. I see right here, this is a 2020 Dodge Charger, or not RT, Dodge Charger Scat Pack, wide body. Shout out to my boy Hemitron for using the Scat in the video. And you got my 2021 Dodge Charger RT Daytona edition. So with price, that's gonna be a rough 50 to 60 grand, just depending if you're gonna go narrow or wide body. For the RTs, you're gonna be looking at around 45 grand for the narrow body. But if you go and use, you could probably find some, I mean, low 20s, uh, low 30s. And so. Brakes. So scats, they come with Brembo brakes they do come six piston or or four pistons since this is a wide body fully loaded this come with six piston brembros while we get the regular honda uh fucking four piston brakes not brembros or nothing like that so moving on with the engine so as y'all see here this is a 6.4 liter v8 hemi and this is a 5.7 v8 hemi 5.7 liter v8 hemi the scats with their 6.4, it's gonna be pushing you around 485 horsepower with about 475 pound-feet of torque. Wow. The RTs are gonna come with 375 uh, horsepower and about like 395 pound-feet of torque. Um, so no more the big two different within the engines. Uh, move, moving on to differentials. So differentials, if you're looking at getting the RT and you want to swing your shit, you could, you can. It's a little harder with the RTs than it is with the scats. The RT is going to come with uh, an, a 2.62 two, a two open diff, while the scats are going to come with a 309 limited diff. What that means is when you're spinning, it's going to be focused on more than, it's going to be focused on like more to one wheel than than both, if that makes sense. So. With the scats, whenever they spin, it sends power to both of the wheels because it's a limited limited slip. While with the open diff, you're gonna be like sliding with one wheel, like so we call it like one wheel peel type deal. And I did that and I fucked up my car. So just be aware if you're going for a RT to get your differential change, because that will be a big help. Interior wise, so scats come cloth or Al Alcatara. I think this one is a. Uh, this is Alcaterra. I no, we not think this one. Yeah, Alcaterra. So the scats come with Alcaterra or cloth, while the RTs come only cloth. But since I got the Daytona edition, it do come Alcaterra. Let me see if I can show y'all. And that's just like the material of the of the seat. So this is Alcaterra right here. And the cloth, I don't know. If y'all seen the cloth, it's just a regular cloth. And that's just the regular base RT, not like a Daytona or like a special edition or nothing like that. Um, tire size. So with the RTs, so the RTs come with 245, 45, 20s, while the scats come with the same tires if it's the narrow body. But if it's the wide body, it come with the 305s. I put 275s on the back and I got 245s in the front. And I'm pretty sure he got this 305s all the way around. Uh moving on to gas so rts they take 89 or higher you can put higher gas in it too i mean it really don't do anything to your car but i know some people might argue it does i just run 89 but with the scats they run 91 or higher and you cannot put anything lower than 91 with the rts and the manual it recommends 89 but it does accept a lower what i think it's 87 i wouldn't say to do that and put 87 in your car but you could in the owner man in the owner manual it says it's perfectly fine that you can but with the scat packs you got to put your straight 91 or higher than that uh so yeah that's the difference between gas price wise with gas yeah i mean depending on how you drive i've spent about i want to say roughly 80 to 100 dollars a week for my rt to fill it up in gas every week and then with the scats it might be around the same price a little higher i'm not 100 percent sure how much you you spend on gas a week 
he said a hundred dollars fill his up every week and i spend about roughly that same amount just because i'd be going everywhere in my shit so it just depends how you drive the car and of course gas on rt would be cheaper than gas on a scat pack because it's lower grain gas so uh let's move on to the next one yeah so as y'all see that's the rt at an idle now rev it so that's the rt at a idle and a rev i do have my mid mufflers deleted so uh it's not really a stock sound now we're gonna get the sound for the scat Okay, so he got his mids and rears deleted. Mine's just my mids. The RTs have like a little deeper tone and his sound good as fuck too. Me personally, I mean, that would be by preference on which one you would think it sound better. Uh, but yeah, interior, yeah, yeah. But the radio though. The what? The radio, oh. like your little, um, what you call it? Uh, yeah. So interior wise, they pretty much all look the same, just depending if you get like the red interior or not. Uh, so this is little you connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they get the, what is what is this shit called? SRT dashboard. Yeah, the, look, the SRT dashboard right here. Uh, he's able to put eco, change it up. Change it up. Right here. So track, then you got your support, it's so all that. The RTs don't come with this. Uh, I think some some RTs don't even come with the performance page. Mines do, and yes, but you get all that line lock for burnouts, launch control, and yeah, all that. And then for the RTs over here, with the RTs, as y'all see right here, the most I'll I get is my little performance page right here. If it pops up, I don't think she's gonna pop up. Oh, performance control. Oh no. What the fuck? She ain't working. All right, it's not working, but the most this one get is just like your little performance control. I don't get like the SRT, the track mode and shit like that, or eco mode. Uh, so yeah. Some RTs don't come with that little performance page at all, so it just all depends. Uh, I think that covers almost about all of it. Uh, Weight-wise, they both weigh the same. I think the wild bodies might weigh a little extra because it is a wild body, but they both weigh the same. They both have the same kind of build, so they're both going to be around the same weight. So 0 to 60 times. With the RT, the 0 to 60 time is about... I think it said about five on google 5.3 seconds roughly around there for the scats their zero to 60 time is around like i think 4.9 4.8 uh all that do differ with depending on your tires depending on how hot it is on the ground because i can't even get my rt zero to 60 time to even 5.5 i think the lowest i got is 5.6 uh and yeah top speed Scats go about 180. RT's top speed tops out at like 150, 155, roughly around there. I have got I have gotten it up to 140. Uh, so yeah, top speed is different between each other. Now, saying which one you should buy, it all depends on you. If you want some straight up out horsepower, I would say go with the Scat. If you want something a little cheaper and get some decent horsepower, I say RT. Me personally. Daily driving wise, I daily drive my RT and I think he daily drive his scat too as well. Um I would say maintenance on a scat is gonna be more expensive than it is on an RT. So 
out me personally if you're looking for daily driving i would probably push to say rt but i mean you could daily drive a scat too there's nothing against that now building wise if you're looking to build an engine the 5.7 liter v8 hemi is better to build off of than the scat because the scat already got the horsepower so you building off of it is a little more difficult and costs a little bit more than it w would be with the rt so just keep that in mind um but i think that's it for this video if you like this video leave a like comment leave a like comment subscribe and i'm out